I would never recommend anyone work for free, ever, to do anything. There's no free. Now, what I recommend to my seconds and the people in, on my team uh, is that there's always something that you can be paid in that can be a lot of different things. I mean, I, I heard one guy, what he did was he, he asked the client, you know, can you deduct, you know, buying a piece of gear? And they were like, sure. And he was like, okay, you got to buy me this. But no, I don't think that working for free works ever. I just don't. Um, now, that, that changes when, when you're in my position. When a client who's hired me <clears throat> for, for years calls me and asks me for a favor, of course I'm going to do that. They've kept me alive for years. Absolutely, I'm going to do them a favor. But doing just because you're young doesn't mean you are supposed to work for free. There's difference between interning for somebody and and trading your time for for knowledge. That's an internship. Um, but somebody who is going to sell a product or increase their value from your work, that requires a deal to be made. And that deal could be on futures of some sort or equipment or something. But there's always a deal to be made. But working for free gets you nothing but being taken advantage of, in my opinion. The scenario of an a &R person from a record label saying, can you do a test mix for me? Because I've never heard you mix something in this particular genre. Um, I'm not given to test mixing very much. I mean, I do it very, very rarely and only for, for projects that I really want to be involved in and only for friends, you know, people I know in the business really well and they need to convince the artist that I would work for them. Fine, you can do a test mix as long as you work the deal out ahead of time. You know what I mean? If you use my mix, you pay me X. Or if you don't use my mix, you pay me, you know, some kill fee to at least pay for the rent of my studio, for the upkeep of my equipment, something. We are in a situation in the music business where the music itself is being devalued so completely. And then to, to devalue the people who make it even more than they're already devalued. I mean, there isn't a mixer or an engineer on the planet who's rich from making records. We, we make a living, but we're not rich. We don't have the potential that an artist has or the songwriter has at making money. We just don't. We are at the lower end of the production staff fees, you know? And, and I just personally don't think that we should devalue ourselves more. Should I consider taking less money for a project that I'm passionate about with a friend who has hired me for full rate for many years? Of course I should do that. Should a young engineer do an album for free just because he wants to work with somebody? That's just being taken advantage of. That's and that never works. That just leads to a situation where you're continuing to be taken advantage of. And the artist is saying, well, I'm worth working on for free. Your time is valueless. Your artistry is valueless. How does that ever work out in a positive? In my, in my mind, it doesn't. So to me, a deal should be struck. Whether you're getting paid cash, or now or later or whatever, but a deal should always be struck. There should always be an understanding of what your time is worth. That's all. It's that simple. It doesn't have to be heavy. It doesn't have to be like, you know, fuck you, I, I'm worth X or, you know, or you just don't, you know, it just doesn't have to be heavy. Like, look, I got to pay my bills. 
if you can't pay me now, like I, a friend of mine called me up. He was like, you know, we've got, I don't know what it was. I don't even remember. A couple grand to do a record, to a mix. And I said, of course, for you, of course. Just pay me the rest to equal my rate out of first monies received. He was like, no problem. Done. That's all. It's not heavy. Just, I got to pay people. I got to pay rent. I got to pay equipment repairs and purchases and software upgrades, whatever. He knows that. Deal is done. Doesn't have to be heavy. 